What's up guys? Fishing with RJ here. Um, so, how y'all been doing guys? Um, I have a GoPro on me. Well, hopefully we'll get some fish today. Uh, but I want to do this a little bit different on my channel. Um, a lot of my favorite YouTubers, nothing bad on them. Favorite YouTubers also though. But I see every time they have a, a video, they catch something. Um, yes, they're just that good. Half the time they're just that good. Um, although, could have sworn this thing where he used to be below the water at some point. Um, but it seems like they're always catching something and I cannot tell for the life of me if it's because they are cat, like go, doing multiple videos on the same day and they just know when to catch. Cause I'm pretty sure that's how they, that's how they do things. I don't have that luxury at the moment. I wish I could make YouTube my full time job. That would be phenomenal just to be able to fish as a job. Uh, without further ado guys i'm gonna start uploading videos content just crazy um i'll probably have a playlist where um my catch if i catch something um, you'll know it in the title uh if not i mean you may know it you may not in the title uh so i'm just gonna be uploading videos like crazy um whether i catch something or not that way y'all can see how often um i really catch stuff uh so we're gonna go ahead and do that uh, today I am using what I believe to be an extremely underrated uh, Guggen bait. Uh, don't know if y'all know, but this Guggen bait right here, guys, is underrated as hell. Can bring that out. Explosive toads, guys. Um, Guggen toad. I think online they call explosive toads, uh, but Guggen toads. Um, I believe those to be extremely underrated. I don't hear much about them, but uh, I'm pretty sure they're amazing. So we're gonna go see if we can catch a nice fat bass on them today, guys. So um, when you see me next, I'll be on the water. Peace. Okay, guys, we're gonna go ahead and switch it up real quick. Uh, slim shake. Oh, I think we're gonna go ahead and do a. Uh, Go ahead and do back. Yeah, it's gonna take. Yes, we're gonna do the same shit, guys. No dragon drop. My bad. Dragon drop. Um, do a couple casts. I had a whole bunch of blood in this because uh, I had an explosive toad on it, and I just really, uh, um, I really messed up on the tension. I should have set it higher just to test it, and I had it on the lower setting, so it backlashed like crazy. Um, but that's what I do, guys. This is what. This right here, this baby right here, brown girl, is what hit it for me last time. And we're going to go ahead and try one of these uh, hooks real quick. Um, just to go ahead and uh, see how they do. Um, so uh, I'm going to go ahead and get this set up real quick. So guys, um, let's go ahead and start moving. I want to move down more closer to over there. See if I can get a bite, a few bites. Um... So, uh, let's go ahead and see if we can get anything, guys. I am stoked. I want to get a bite. I would love a bite. Get on two. Too much. That's fine. Let's go ahead and do a test cast real quick. That's actually not bad. That was a great cat. I'm a decent distance. Now let's just pray that I didn't. I didn't hook. I, I know I, that the hook could have definitely been a lot better. Okay. I mean, that's pretty good action, actually, honestly. I didn't think it was going to be that good with uh, this uh, rig on it. Or this hook with the weight in it. Actually, when I was hooking it up, um, I didn't think it was going to uh, uh, go through the go through this, the dragon drop. Actually, I thought it was going to um, destroy the bait. But it actually, it didn't. It shot off pretty well. So, uh, we're gonna go ahead and um, walk down here a bit. Probably just an opening around. 
Oh, the other I want to hit. You'll probably hit that tree line. Um, possibly either that rock structure over there. I don't know if you can see that. It goes the middle a little bit. Possibly the pier. Or we might try the little pond with the slim shake. Uh, I keep calling it slim shake. Uh, drag and drop. Uh, I think that I think it'll do if there's fish in the pond. I don't know honestly. Uh, but if it is the uh, this thing should catch me. It's beauty. The hook is just really out. This would probably be better on a Lanka log, maybe. Um, you know, a bandito bug would probably get this one pretty good. But we'll see, guys, because that, that hook's just really out. Way more than I would like it to be. Um, but at least it's on the top, I guess. So, uh, Here's where we want to go. Um, let's go ahead and get there, guys. Actually, we'll go right here, honestly. I know there's some wood over there. He looks like a decent spot. Okay, guys, well, I'll pick it up if we catch anything. No line, guys. Um, try to get more actual fishing in this, even if we're not catching anything. Try to get more actual footage. Oh. Uh, let's go ahead and try right here real quick. Actually some wood there, let me uh, walk down a little more. Let me try and get the thing that way. guys I'm using my Shimano Corrado DC here we go guys okay. here we go guys okay we caught a calf is that a okay guys look wow a calf well I mean Okay guys, ah, we got a, a catfish here today. <laughs> Believe it or not, a catfish. Wow. Off a uh, rookie minnow. Damn guys, so let's go ahead and get this away real quick. I was expecting to catch anything off the off the thing like that guys. Get my, my weight real quick. I was not expecting to catch anything honestly. But you know as a fisher guy I guess you should always be prepared, right? Get you, get you. Got you, guy. Uh, we're gonna have to get another sim shake on here. Okay, that's his hook. That's his hook. I just stay still. Drop this sim shake. Guys, normally I don't catch a. Uh, a um, I'm a little, I, I don't know too much about catfish, so guys, I'm being a little bit careful. I know they got bobs on them that can, uh, they're not good for you, so. But we got here, 1.434 ounce, guys. That's not bad, that is not bad, so. Uh, we are gonna go ahead and let him go. But that's nice, guys. Damn guys, okay, that, that's what we want to see. I was not expecting that at all. Um, damn. This is just this thing I'm good no more. But guys, I was not expecting that at all. Um, that, so, okay, so I mean, that's great guys, that was phenomenal. We're gonna go ahead and throw another slim shake out there. Um, I keep calling these slim shake guys, these are actually the, uh, um, Drop. But uh, real quick guys, that was the weight. I'm sure you can see that. One pound, one pound, four ounces and three fourths. That was great guys. Um, I don't know what kind of catfish that was off the top of my head. Um, I just thought it was a catfish. 
I was not expecting that at all, guys. Um, that was so cool. Um, that was a fast too. I was literally not expecting to catch anything here. Um, but uh, should have proved us wrong that time. So we're gonna go ahead and look at the same exact way we did. Um, on the other one, push that in there. Uh -huh. Just that. And I'll try that. There we go. Put down that. Here you can see what I'm doing. Back in that weed list right there. Right down on that right there. Perfect. Awesome, guys. Let's go ahead and uh, get another one out there. We're going to go ahead and stay here for a bit. See if we can't catch another one, but that was awesome, guys. Uh, shoot. We got another one. Uh, I was not expecting to catch anything, honestly. Uh, I was actually expecting, if anything, I was hoping for bass, you know, not a nice catfish like that. I'm gonna leave this on. Thought I thought something. See guys. By the way, that was a dragon drop brown girl. So I can see that fish caught me off guard because I was not expecting to uh, to get anything with that at all. Um, yeah, I was just I was not expecting to get anything. I don't know that catfish, guys. Um, Go ahead and uh, I'll pick up my trash after me there. I know I got a bag there, but I'll pick that up. By the way, I don't know if y'all saw me, or if y'all with me on the, the last time I caught a fish. I believe I was using a braided line, 30 pound braided line. I fished now to um, 30, uh, 20 pound mono. on this week guys we're probably gonna go ahead and uh bring a uh, kayak out here guys especially if the, if the weather uh stays this nice we will be bringing out a kayak Guys, that's slant shots, guys. Kicking today. I will be doing about focusing uh, catfish soon, guys. Um, I will be doing a. Uh, going to go ahead and focus catfish at one of these ponds I'm going to be stocking hopefully soon ok 
can't tell if there's something there. Man, guys. But we got here. 1.434 ounce, guys. That's not bad. That is not bad. So, uh, we are going to go ahead and let him go. But that's nice, guys. Damn, guys. Okay, that, that's, that's what we want to see. I was not expecting that at all. Um, now, so, okay. So, I mean, that's great, guys. That was phenomenal. We're gonna go ahead and throw another slim shake out there. Um, I keep calling these slim shake guys. These are actually the uh, um, drag and drop. But uh, real quick, guys, that was the weight. I'm sure, I can see that. One pound, one pound, four ounces and three fourths. That was great, guys. Um, I don't know what kind of catfish that was off the top of my head. Um, I just know it was a catfish. I was not expecting that at all, guys. Um, that was so cool. Um, that was a fast too. I was literally not expecting to catch anything here. Um, but uh, should I prove it's wrong with that thing? So we're gonna go ahead and wait up the same exact way we did um, on the other one. Push that in there. Uh -huh. Push that. And oh, right at. There we go. Put down that. Here you can see what I'm doing. Back in that weed list right there. Right down on that right there. Perfect. Awesome guys. Let's go ahead and uh, get another one out there. We're gonna stay here for a bit. See if we can't catch another one, but that was awesome guys. Uh, shoot. Get another one. Oh, I was not expecting to catch anything honestly. Uh, I was actually, if anything, I was hoping for a bass, you know, not a nice catfish like that. I'm gonna leave this on. Thought I thought something. Let's see, guys. By the way, that was a drag and drop brown gill. So I can see that fish caught me off guard because I was not expecting to uh to get anything with that at all um yeah i was just i was not expecting to get anything let alone that cat, catfish guys um let's go ahead and uh, i'll pick up my trash after me there i know i got a bag there but i'll pick that up By the way, I don't know if y'all saw me or if y'all with me on the, the last time I caught a fish. I believe I was using a braided line, 30 pound braided line. I fished now to um, 30, uh, 20 pound mono. On this week guys we're probably gonna go ahead and uh bring a uh, kayak out here guys especially if the weather uh stays this nice we will be bringing out a kayak
that's how you know guys that's slant shafts guys kicking today we're gonna home try and make a few casts right here um i'm gonna probably head out for the day but we got one cast on camera the thing is at this at this lake right here um you either have proof or it never happened and i know that goes for a lot of fishing you know you have proof or it didn't happen uh but for this lake it goes especially to um power house place because so many times hold on it's where we had a nibble Let me get that back out there I swear we had a nibble guys What's up, uh, Fisher with RJ here. So we just uh, got back in the van uh, for uh, from fishing. We caught one catfish, guys. That's phenomenal. Um, the, the fact that we actually caught a catfish here, it's uh, you just you don't catch catfish, you guys. That, that that's just the thing of it. Um, I'm trying to stick this thing here. Um, you just don't catch catfish, you guys. It's I mean, I've never caught a catfish here, honestly, that I can remember. So I ended up catching a, a bass Wednesday. Uh, link, uh, pictures in my Instagram, guys. But um, caught a bass Wednesday, and now we went ahead and caught a uh, catfish, guys. Uh, white one is about to leave too. It's winning the same, so I stayed a little bit longer than after that. But white one when I was about to leave too, we went and uh, ended it nicely. So um, that'll be the last that you see, guys. Um, but uh, yeah, guys, uh, that'll be it. So, till next time, guys. Hopefully, this uh, my uh, Taco Tuesday for last week. Um, then I bought Taco Tuesday, um, is um, behind on shipping. Um, and I'm like 21 points away from getting um, okay, I'm 21 points away from getting elite status on Google Squad. I'll also be getting some of my own merch so right now i have Guggen squad um don't know if y'all can see that Guggen squad guys got the Guggen squad cap real quick hell yes um, but i will be getting some of my own merch soon so um stay tuned for that um if you want to go ahead and support my channel um uh buy some nice merch guys um you won't regret it it's a nice merch it's on teespring um you'll be supporting my channel as well um by the way shout out to pontoon life um, great uh, YouTube channel, so go ahead and follow um, him. Link will be uh, should be floating somewhere um, within the video shortly. So uh, that's it, guys. That's it for today's video. I'm just gonna piece together everything and um, not gonna edit too much on this, so you'll just get a whole long video, guys, on this one. Um, that way, y'all can see what I saw. Um, I was honestly not expecting. You see that in the video, it caught me by surprise. <laughs> it caught me by surprise, like hell. I was not expecting to catch something here today i mean it was a good fishing day i just still wasn't expecting to catch anything so the fact that we got at least one bite guys um that's phenomenal so we're gonna go ahead and end the video um, every time i go fishing guys i'm just gonna start uploading with like catch something or not um i guess this will be in a playlist of you wouldn't believe it um and then of course we will see what we did the other guys uh but two guys keep fishing on you know keep them lines tight guys